in a developing country where the average of the population is on a low income level, it is possible to make a big cooperation in the water and sanitation sector self-sustainable. Brasilia has around 3 million people. We have 100% coverage in water, 83% coverage in wastewater with 100% treatment for the collected wastewater, and we receive no subsidies. We have so many examples around the world of people saying no, the people are poor, the people don't want to pay, and this is not the case. In Brasilia, I think maybe 60-65% of the population is in the low-income area, and they still pay their bills. Our approach is partially responsible for that. When we started to expand the sanitation services, we choose a model which we call the condominial model. On the conventional side, you usually start with the infrastructure, and once the infrastructure is done, you move to connect the people. So the people are the last part of the story. The condominial model is a process where the whole way that you design the systems, that you construct the system, is now starting from the customer, from the household level. Nosso trabalho é de mobilização social, né? de mobilizar a comunidade para passar as informações sobre o sistema de implantação de esgoto. All households in one condominium will connect to a shared branch that discharges into a secondary sewer network. Instead of service laterals directly connecting households to a sewer main under the street, the condominial system uses one single pipe that connects to each household in the block. It has uh, so many advantages from the methodology, from the social point of view, from the results, but also because it was cheaper. Our first action is go to the household level and talk to the people in terms of what we want to do, what is their role, what this will cost them, uh, how they should be working together with us. Às vezes tem liderança comunitária e a gente é, faz uma reunião naquela, na, numa casa daquela liderança. E aí a gente passa as informações para todos os moradores e vai de casa em casa convidando eles para a reunião. When you talk to the people, you hear a lot of questions that you wouldn't like to hear. They are pressing you on quality, on services, on tariffs, and you have to have answers for all of this. The private sector is doing a lot of things that is under our responsibility, but we are outsourcing to them. So they are involved with the construction of new systems, they are involved in maintenance. 90% of our work is here, comunidade onde está acontecendo a obra. Então isso facilita muito, auxilia muito até mesmo para você estar lidando com a população, para você ter as pessoas daqui de dentro, né? It's not a matter of being rich or being poor. We are implementing this system both in the low income areas of the city, also in the high income areas of the city. So we have a same message and the people see that the system works. Foi um pouco complicado porque tinha de estar contratando pessoas, caminhão, para desgotar as fossas. E não tive tanto problema, mas, muito, assim, com o vizinho tive, porque enchia, vazava, vai aquele fedor vinha para a rua. Não tem mais esse problema. Para o bem da saúde da gente é muito importante. Então, acredito que tem a melhorar, tem. Sempre é bom ter uma melhora a mais. Mas, da forma que está indo, acredito que vai che vamos chegar lá naquele nível que a gente quer. When we think of the condominial solution and also the wastewater treatment plants, we were looking uh, that they fit in our environment. And when I think about environment, I'm talking about economics, I'm talking about culture, I'm talking about institutional arrangement, I'm talking about geography. They must fit in our uh, knowledge level, they must fit in our skills in terms of operation and maintenance. So this was maybe one guiding principle. And what we've been doing is to move more into natural treatment systems, where you require less energy, less operational skills, and also construction is simpler. In Brasilia, we have 16 wastewater treatment plants in operation. Aguas Lindas, this new one, is the 17th that we will start operation in the next months. We introduced the anaerobic upflow reactor as the first treatment step in every plant that we have in Brasilia. 
the anaerobic treatment allows you to have a very high reduction in terms of organics and in terms of solids. Once you reduce the organic load, the oxygen demand for the aerated lagoons is it's much lower. Also, we try to avoid these big, huge, uh, concrete reinforced tanks. We are mostly doing it as earth basins. This always is resulting in more simplified technology and lower cost for the investment. When you're moving to more affordable technology, when you are moving to talk to the people, this brings you somehow in a risky zone, you know? because it's much easier and much comfortable to rely on conventional solutions. But when you look for more sustainable solutions, you have to risk a little bit, you know, because you're out of the comfort zone, but this is worth it.